Okay, as I was editing this video, I um, can hear my fire alarm in the background. And I just want to say that if you point it out, I'm going to come to your house and I'm going to put my fire alarm in your My mom tells me about it all the time. And I know she's going to watch this video and be like, what do you mean? Just ignore the fire alarm. I don't hear it. I genuinely don't hear it. But I'm sorry that it's in the video. I'm sorry. I'm going to change my batteries right now. Hello, friends. It's your girl, Stacy. Coming at you live with another video, baby. Guys, look what happened to me. My top scarred me. Oh, uh, I hope that goes away. Anyways, first things first, I just want to say thank you guys so much because look what came in the mail. I just want to say thank you. Like, put some respect on it. Put some respect on it. Put some respect on it. For the people that don't know, I hit 100K like last year, but this is finally coming in. And I just want to say thank you to all 107K of you oh. guys. Uh... Uh, uh, just a lot. <laughs> Yo, this is no way you're crying on camera right now. This is embarrassing. But yeah, anyways, I'm a firm believer in the fact that everything happens for a reason. And this pack came at a time where I felt like I was giving up on myself. And it just gave me like a kickstart. It came at a time where I was giving up and it was like, let me remind you what you're doing this for. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. And I'm gonna put my foot in it, y'all. And that's why I'm back with another video. Let's stop through soppy soppy wappy. Okay, let's get into it, y'all. Listen, my mom is always telling me how I need to give you guys like specified makeup advice. She's like that whole like just a broad makeup tutorial. Like I can't follow it. And I'm sure a lot of people can't. So just really break it down. Like start with one part of your face and then work around. And I said, oh my God. But I'm gonna give it to her. So for today's video, we're gonna break down my eyebrow routine. This is how my eyebrows used to look. Quite scary. This is how my eyebrows look now. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I made my eyebrows frame and flatter my face shape. And maybe help you figure out what you need to do to fix yours. No Tino Shay. <laughs> Okay, so the nice even light is gonna go away because I'm watching it on my computer and I'm not putting another light on. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so first things first, I want you guys to look at the way my eyebrows grow. They grow in like a downwards like fashion that just makes my face look a little drowsy or sleepy or like lazy in a, in a sense like this and it's not cute. It is not cute, but I want that like pulled back look. I shave off the ends to kind of like lift it, you know, Botox. Botox, Botox, Botox. I just shave them off. Guys, hair grows back. My eyebrows really grow back after a week. Like they, they grow so fast. I put some brow gel on my eyebrows just to keep them in place. This is really an unnecessary step for me, but I just like to do it. Sometimes I'll do it with like gel or whatever. I'm using the Anastasia Brow Pomade in the color Ebony. And I'm gonna follow that bottom line like the under part of my eyebrow, just straight up, straight up. You don't wanna go down, you wanna go up. You know what I mean? Then I do the same, I connect the top. I really just follow the natural, the natural shape of my brow. But this is where it gets a little tricky. There's three main points of your eyebrow. The beginning, the arch, and the end. You may be wondering, how do I figure out where all these points are? I'm gonna tell you right here. You wanna take a brush or a stick or anything straight. You wanna put the brush on the side of your nose right here and connect it to the outer corner of your eye and the place where the brush, where the brush falls will be the end of your eye, brow, if that makes sense. Do the same thing for the beginning of your brow. You wanna connect the brush from the outside of your nose to your inner corner of your eye. Follow that line straight up and you're gonna find where your eyebrow should stop. Then to find the arch, you wanna go from the side of your nose to the middle of your iris when you're looking straight and there's where your arch should be. I hope that made sense. When you watch me do it, it makes a lot more sense. Let's just watch me do it. You see, nose, outer corner, boom, booza. Nose, iris. Buzza. Nose, inner corner, boom, bow. Now you got a bum eyebrow. You can really make your eyebrows any shape, but this is really just on some beginner stuff. Like if you really need help figuring out where things should start and end. Okay, so I continue with the pomade, um, filling in the rest of my brow, but not too crazy at the front. I like my eyebrows to go from light to dark. So I use a brush and blend the beginning because it look, it's gonna look crazy if it's all thick like that. Expo marker, okay? 
Then I take any type of felt pen brow filler. This one's by MAC. Um, and I just draw hair like strokes just to make it look like more eyebrow-y. My eyebrows are really thin, so it's like really easy for them to look like drawn on. If I don't make these hair like strokes, it could look really, really makeup-y, if that makes sense. Um, the lines can kind of be harsh, so I do blend them out again with a spoolie. The spoolie is your best friend when you do eyebrows. Keep spoolie, spoolie, spoolie. All right, so the next step that I do is I take three concealer, concealer shades. One that's my color, and then one that's lighter, one shade lighter than me, and then another one that's two shades lighter than me. I take a flat brush, and I go in with the one that's one shade lighter than me and just put that like in the center underneath my brows like the middle compartment if that makes sense you just want to underline your brows to like clean them and get them shaped up right you know what i mean then i take the one that's two shades lighter than my brow and i highlight the brow bone with that part so i'll use that to underline my brow on the brow bone and it kind of makes you your brow bone look bigger if that makes sense again botox think botox guys okay so the next step that i do is i take the one that's my skin color and i'll do the beginning part of my brow so you guys don't get that hawk effect that a lot of you guys are, are forgetting with your brows at. remember to blend the beginning the middle too so it doesn't get scary then uh for the top part i just do my foundation color or the the concealer that is my skin tone um on the whole top and then you want to blend, blend, blend. It's period, snatched. You can also use this concealer step to make them as thin or thick as you want. I like a nice thin 90s brow. I did the other one off camera. Okay, y'all. These are the eyebrows completed. You see the way that it just gives my face that like, that like you know what I mean? You know what I mean? If you don't know what I mean, I didn't tell you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Upon looking at this, I should have shaved more hair off underneath because you can kind of see it. The concealer doesn't really cover it, but I wasn't going anywhere this day, so I wasn't tripping. The amount that I have shaved off right here, you would have never have seen that, seen that little patch of hair. But I wasn't going anywhere, guys. Leave me alone. If you got this far, I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys want to see from me. Because I'm trying to post more consistently, guys. You just don't understand. You just don't understand. I'll see you guys in my next video. See you. Bro, how do I even explain this? Oh my gosh.